What's up guys? We got the donor engine in finally. I literally just got it on the engine stand. It's kind of a nightmare, but it's on. It's stable-ish. Um, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick update, let you guys know I didn't forget about you. Um, it's just, I've been really busy, there's been holiday shit going on, all of that. But anyway, we're just gonna kinda do a walk around the engine, see what kind of shape she's in. Alright guys, here she is in all her glory. She crusty, she really crusty, I'm not gonna lie to anyone right now. It is from the east coast, I'm assuming that this just happens. It's only got 94,000 miles on it. And she rough on the outside. Like, what? What is that? What is that pink stuff? I have no idea. Other than the exterior. Supposedly she runs really good. I don't know, I think I mentioned in the last video that uh, I've got like a three month warranty on it or whatever. But I did pop the valve cover. And I'm actually really happy with what I saw inside. It's eventually, if this will ever focus, it's actually really clean in there. It's way cleaner than the Silverado right now. I can tell you that much. There's just so much gunk on that thing. But it's also got over 100,000 miles more on it. So, well, well over 100,000 miles more on it. Uh, check the dipstick. Obviously, there's no oil in it, thankfully. Uh, it doesn't smell bad. It smells like good oil, actually. So, I think they take co took good care of this thing. Anyone wants a good deal on some manifolds, I'll hook it up. Those are probably going to go right there in the garbage. My only complaint, well, other than dealing with the people that were shipping it, that was a bit of a nightmare, um, is... Somehow they cracked the throttle body. I don't know how. I'm assuming it just fell over during transport or they dropped something on it. I am a little bitter about that, but it's not really that big a deal. The one on the truck works fine, but I did want to do a video later on um, of porting that because I did port and polish the one that's on the truck right now. And if anyone wanted to see how to do that, not that I'm the best, but obviously I didn't mess it up too bad because the truck still runs. Well, ran. Well guys, that was just a quick little overview of the engine. It's in, I'm excited. Uh, next week we'll start tearing into it. I know, I'm sorry, like there'll be much less talking. We'll actually get to turning wrenches and tearing this thing apart. I got, most of the parts are here. We'll do a little thing on that. Um, I won't do like an unbox or anything because most of it's stock replacement stuff. I did get a couple aftermarket things. Uh, like I said before, I got LS7 lifters, uh, LS6, uh, Beehive Springs, all that. But we'll get this thing tore down. Um, we might get to painting it. I'm not sure on that for sure, but I do need to get the head sent off to the machine shop for sure next week because I want to get this thing done as soon as possible. So next week, I promise, we will turn wrenches and we'll be back to awesome. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great night.